Hi folks, Mike here from Random Acts of Cooking and I'm going to smoke a T-bone steak. Let me show you. Okay, here's my T-bone steak. This is a pretty good, uh, maybe just a smidge over an inch thick. Uh, anyway, I've just rinsed this with water. I'm going to keep this one fairly simple. I'm going to use uh, Montreal steak seasoning and this is going to get coated on both sides. All right. Got that cut on both sides. You can see it's in a pan with a little wire wrap on it. So this is going to sit in the fridge and do a, just a short dry age for about, uh, well maybe about three hours or so until we get ready to put it on the smoker. Okay, that's it. See you in, uh, see you in a little bit. Okay, here's our steak. It's been in the fridge for about three hours and it's been out of the fridge for about 15 minutes uh, to try to come up a little bit in temperature. We're going to take this outside and I'll see you at the smoker. Alright, we have the CapChef Smoke Pro on the high smoke setting, which is about 220 degrees. Put my probe in there. We're going to take this to an internal temperature of about 135. Then we'll pull that off. Let it cool down just a little bit, and then we'll get it on the uh, the sure box. I have my Mason smoke tube in here just to make sure I get plenty of smoke on that steak. So we'll be back when we get to about a hundred and what is it, 135 uh, internal on the steak. Okay, according to my temperature probe, this steak is at 132 degrees internal. Got to get it off of here and get the sear box going so we can do the, the good sear on this. It's not bad so far. All right, the sear box has been warming up for about 10 minutes. Let's see if we can get a good sear on this steak. Alright, that's been searing for about three minutes on each side. A couple flips here and there, so I'm going to say this is ready to pull off and let it rest for a little bit before we go inside and cut it up. Okay, this has been sitting for about ten minutes, maybe a little bit less. Let's look at the reveal. Put that juice right back over the top of it. All right, here's my T-bone steak. Smoked for, I don't know, I guess it was about an hour or so. And then seared on the Camp Chef Smoke Pro with the sear box. I think that is a perfect medium rare. All right, let's take a bite. Okay, here's my taste test bite. T-bone steak, slow smoke, seared. <laughs> That's good. A little bit of smoky flavor. Kind of taste the, the the char from the sear. And of course, it's the the, the uh, Montreal steak seasoning. I think that's just I don't know, salt, pepper, garlic, something something like that. Anyway, not too much seasoning, not too little. Great steak flavor. It's a steak. I mean, it's T-bone. It's got to be good. Uh, like the oh, it's got a smoky aroma. Oh. All right, I'm gonna eat my good steak tonight. And to make it a little healthier, we have what's called veggie tots, kind of like tater tots, but they're made out of broccoli. Actually, pretty good. So anyway, I'm gonna say, worked again. Catch you later, folks. Thanks. Bye.